Mayra De Costa, and with me right now I have the very fabulous Nadia Fernandez. Well, she is the owner of Bridal Treasures. Welcome, Nadia. Hi. Hi. So, Nadia, we have a lot of qu uh, questions for you with related to bridal accessories. I want to ask you, tell us something about yourself and about Bridal Treasures. This thing started off more like a hobby, where it was like you know I used to do things even as a kid, and then I kind of started uh, doing things for my friends, and then it was my own wedding. So it's like it started off from small things like you know and then like I used to uh, basically I was into family business before so you know people used to watch me do small small things like these and then it generally started like you know okay it's like uh, can you do something for me and you know all these things like you know a few things like you know they would come and ask me to do and then it started off from there like you know like, like so from there you grew up. trend right now in bridal accessories? I don't think there is a trend as such as of now because it's like most of the brides they follow others who, are, who have already been married or whatever it's like they don't uh, come up with something new okay. so we would like to have like you know we have a lot of brides who come up with something different and that becomes like a, a trend for the future brides so, so it's like most of the brides like are basically followers so you know we like when there are uh, trend set of brands. Wow. So wow. because uh, you know like anything that they create or anything that we create for them becomes a trend. Wow. So like every bride is a trend setter themselves. All right. So Nadia, you're telling about social media. You know where it becomes a trend setter. So I want to know from your side how does social media help you out in your business? Social media plays a major role. And this because uh, whatever we create, we can kind Showcase of you know, showcase it. Okay. To, and then like you know, brides that are overseas and things like that for for you know for whom it becomes difficult to get everything you know set on the other side. Uh, like, so so yeah. when they see your work, they come to know like you know what you're yeah. looking after. And you're making it more tough by making <laughs> <laughs> uploading a better uh, yeah. pictures and of your work. Yeah. So it becomes hard to choose. Wow, that's really good. What about international clients? How is their feedback towards you? We have got a lot of international clients. So wow. most of them get in touch uh, through Facebook or through WhatsApp or you know all these social media. Social media. media. So and then like you know and then for them it becomes easier to you know they have already seen what's you know being done for other brides. So they know that we can create something different and something you know whatever as per their ideas. Mm -hmm. We can create things for them. So you always step out from different things. Okay, wow, beautiful, beautiful Nadia, thank you. about social media trends everything now I want to know from your side you know they always say that the grass is always green on the other side but we don't know how much efforts have gone in so Nadia tell me your experience your challenges that you have faced in your field behind the scenes behind the scenes there's a lot that goes on there's always a cluttered table there's always a mess and uh, there's always me working till about 2 a.m. like sometimes when the work pressure is a lot okay to work. and it shows your dedication also Yes, it does. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, since we have to execute and give things on time, we have to work till late, and uh, yeah, that's a good thing actually because, uh, like, see, I don't, I do not have staff, so like, I prefer not to keep staff because I prefer to do things myself. That's where you know I would uh, want to create everything and make sure that it's done to perfection. I do not like to, you know, anything going incomplete. We have seen the perfection in your work, we have seen the detailing work. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Like how do you, you know, look at it? Do you sit with a magnifying glass over it? Not really, but then it's just that the end product has to look as good as what it was, you know, shown to me in a picture. 
it has to either look that good or it has to look better than what it was in the picture. Wow, that shows truly your dedication towards us. Nadia, thank you so much for sharing all your point of views to everybody over here, whoever is listening. Thank you so much. But right now we have a main question. What is your take on Wedding Sigur? Wedding Sigur is, uh, is a great platform for everybody who is in the wedding industry. It's like um, not everybody has access to social media or online marketing. So for these people, it, it really does help because I mean I've seen a lot of people who have no idea like about whatsoever social of, media. Of social media yeah. So then for these people, you know, it becomes difficult for them to reach out to the crowd. Although they may be really good, I mean, uh, you know, they are not reaching out to that many people. So platforms like these building up a bridge, yes, and yes, in between, the, in between a client or a or a beginner or you know somebody who does not have. Well. Thank you so much. That was really great having you on board. So folks, this is Nadia Fernandez and your host Myra and we are signing off. Thank you.